everyone, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you guys another massive try on haul, but this time it is from ASOS. I have been loving so many items on ASOS at the minute. I have made quite a few orders and of course everything in today's video I will be taking with me on the cruise. So if you guys do enjoy watching today's video, then please remember as always to leave it a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I have so much good stuff in today's haul that I cannot wait to show you. So let's jump straight into today's video, which is a massive ASOS try on haul. Right, let's start off today's haul with a colour that is very, very in at the minute and definitely was around Christmas time. And it is this high neck top with that gathered asymmetric hem in this gorgeous red wine colour. This colour I saw all over my social media. It is such a lovely colour and it is very, very in at the minute and definitely was over Christmas time. I saw so many people picking up items in this gorgeous deep red wine colour. This top is so, so, so flattering. The higher neckline, the ruching and gathering and then the asymmetric hem is so, so, so flattering on me. You know that I love a long line top and then styling it with some lower waist trousers because it has that lovely asymmetric hem with the low waist trousers. It sits so nicely. So it shows that slight little bit of skin on my left hand side. It's just so pretty. The feel of the fabric as well is so lovely, such good quality. The color is just so beautiful, clearly a hype for a reason and I'm so so excited to wear it. Next up, I have two play suits and this first one is just so, so, so pretty. It's so whimsical. It just reminds me of something that would be worn in maybe like a midsummer night stream. It's just so pretty. And it is this lovely blurred floral print corset play suit. It is so, so, so pretty. I love the thin strap and then the sleeves that kind of go off the shoulder. It's so whimsical. I just feel so light and floaty. Yeah, I just really love the way I feel when I wear this. The corset details to it as well. You guys know I love anything that involves a corset style. It's just so pretty and so flattering on my figure as well as that cow neck feature on the neckline. I just love the floral blurred print to it, those gorgeous pinks, reds and greens. And then it does zip up the back and then it also ties across the back as well where the straps are. I love the chiffon fabric as well. And then of course it is lined underneath. So if you don't wanna wear a bra, you don't have to worry because you don't have to because it is double lined. I can imagine when I come back from the cruise, this would be a lovely, lovely outfit to wear for like a summer event, whether it's a barbecue or something like that. It is just so lovely, so pretty. I'm so excited again to wear it. And then the other play suit that I got is going to be a staple. It's going to be a classic to add to my evening wardrobe collection because it's this lovely black satin halter neck play suit. The material is very light, it's breathable, so in case I do go somewhere that is very hot, very humid, I don't feel like I'm going to get too hot wearing this. I love the fact that it's halter neck as well and it's low in the back. I love wearing evening pieces that have a low back. I don't know why, I just do. And because it is elasticated at the back, it sits really lovely across my lower back and it doesn't gape, which is another tick. I just think it's going to be such a classic timeless piece to my wardrobe that I can keep wearing for years and years and years to come. Starting it with some black lace up heels, my little black bag. I just think, yeah, I cannot wait to wear it. A staple to add to my collection. 
Going off of talking about staples, I did pick myself up some summer basics to take with me on the cruise, starting off with this lovely white long line bando from Topshop on ASOS. Honestly, I love Topshop on ASOS. It's generally like one of my go-tos when I'm shopping on ASOS. I know they do supply the goods and I have been on the hunt for some basic bandeau tops, long line ones to be precise, especially a white bandeau because I have struggled to find a bandeau that isn't see-through because I kind of like to go braless when I wear a bandeau and this one ticks all the boxes. It's long enough, it fits me, and it's not see-through, so I don't need to worry about wearing a bra and anything being on show that it isn't. Like I've said so many times, I'm loving long line tops because I would rather style this with a low rise skirt, low rise shorts, low rise trousers. So yeah, I have been on the hunt for a long line white bandeau and ASOS Topshop didn't disappoint. I definitely feel like I do have a little bit of a racer vest top addiction when it comes to buying items or wearing items in the warmer seasons. So I did pick myself up two racer vests. I got one in black and I got one in white. And these are more cropped rather than long line and they are double lined. They're that lovely, slinky, soft material as well, which I love. I picked up classic white and classic black because they're gonna go with everything. Whether I have a day off the boat when I'm not working, I can just shove one of these on and a pair of shorts and I am good to go. I know I have so many razor tops but I don't have it in this lovely soft slinky dare I say skims-esque dupe style of material and yeah I just want more to my collection because I just love stocking up on the staples on the basics because clearly I can never have enough I definitely feel like I have a love-hate relationship with denim shorts. I'll buy denim shorts every single year. I'll wear one pair one year, absolutely love them, go to the next year and just hate them. So I don't know what it is. I just have a love-hate relationship with them. But again, Topshop ASOS has come through and I've picked myself up these A-line mum shorts in this lovely bleached denim. I also did size these up to a 12 because I bought the 8 and the 8 was so, so, so small. At the time, the 10 was out of stock. And you know what? The 12 fits me perfectly because like I said already, I love wearing things lower waisted. So with these, I can either wear them higher and they be a bit baggy along the waist or I can pull them down and wear them more lower waisted. So yes, Topshop has come through again. I can always rely on them. Just a classic pair. I also wanted a pair of shorts that were longer so that my bum wasn't on show. I have a lot of shorts at different lengths but I don't have a longer pair like this. They're not long long but they're long enough that my bum isn't on show. So yes, I sized up to these so I can have the option to wear them higher and baggy or lower waisted with my long line bandeau that I've just got. So yes, another staple classic pair of denim shorts to add to my collection and I actually need to go through all my other shorts and actually pick my favourites to take with me on the cruise and these ones will definitely be coming with me. So as I'm preparing for the cruise of course I'm picking up and stocking up on my summer essentials such as vest tops, shorts, play suits, the accessories that I'm going to be showing you but I did think Emily what if the weather on the occasional day isn't great? What if it rains? Do you have a raincoat? And the answer is no. I needed to find myself a nice light raincoat. Nothing thick, nothing heavy like we use in England, in the UK. All my coats that I wear in England are thick with a hood. So I just wanted a staple raincoat. And again, ASOS has come through with this lovely raincoat in the shade mushroom. It's just a staple. It's going to go with everything. I love this colour 
as well. The rubbery material as well is just giving classic raincoat. I wish they had one in yellow. I would love to get myself a classic yellow raincoat. Maybe one day I will find one, but this mushroom raincoat ticks all the boxes. I got it in a size small. You have the toggles at the top to adjust it. A zipper, it's also got pockets. So on the occasional time, well hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't rain at all in the six and a half months that I'm away. But let's be realistic. If it does rain, at least I'm now going to be prepared. Going on to shoes and accessories. So when I go onto the cruise, I do get my own uniform that is provided to me, but I did need to provide my own shoes. So one of the shoes that I did need to get was a nude pair of flats or otherwise a black pair of flats. So I kind of panicked and I got myself both in the exact same style. I got myself these pointed toe flat nude heels and then I got the same but in the black colorway. Just staple pointed ballet flats in a nude, in a black because I think they prefer to have nudes but just in case, I'd rather be prepared than not have them. I got them in black as well. And then I really tried to stop myself purchasing sunglasses because again, I do have a very large sunglasses collection. I do tend to every year get myself one or two pairs of new sunglasses, even though I already have so many, but I saw them and I had to get them. They are these lovely 90s metal square brown sunglasses and I just love them. I won't put them on fully because I don't want to rub off any makeup off my nose, but they probably look so weird now because they're not on properly, but I just love them. And I know this is a really bad excuse, but I don't have anything like this in my sunglasses collection. I feel like I just end up panic buying. Same with bikinis. Whenever I go away anywhere hot, I always end up getting myself more bikinis and more sunglasses. But anyway, I just love them. This lovely 90s style with the brown lenses. I just love them. And I know I'm going to wear them, even if I do have many other sunglasses to choose from. And then I also picked up this lovely beige New Era's cap. I just love it. I love wearing a cap when I'm on holiday because it keeps the sun out of my eyes. And yeah, I just... I just really love it. I love the nude colour. It's going to go with so many things in my wardrobe. Neutral queen, neutral hat. I just love it. And the shape of it with the more structure at the top, I think is better suited for my head shape. I just love wearing hats in the summer hotter seasons. So I had to pick this one up in this lovely neutral beige colour palette. And then finally, out of the accessories from ASOS, I picked up these drop earrings with a silver chain to them. They are so pretty. I'm really getting into wearing long earrings, wearing hooped earrings. And I just think in the evening with a nice cocktail dress, I just think they're going to look so, so, so lovely. And I think these were like five or six pounds. So one absolute steal. And then finally, I did pick myself up some PJs in this lovely minty green. I love the whole shirt and shorts combo. So this is a oversized short sleeve shirt and it comes with a matching pair of shorts. I will say though that I did get these in a size 8 and the shirt fits me perfectly but I do think the shorts were a little bit too small in the elastic. The elastic band on this is really strong um, and if you want something tighter then fine but for me when it comes to PJs when I'm wearing shorts I want the elastic waistband to be really loose because I find it quite uncomfortable otherwise when I'm sleeping so I probably will send these back and then size up to a 10 and hope that the elastic band isn't as strong as it is on the 8 but apart from that I just love them they are super super soft as well which I love in PJs I just love the color it is just so 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 pretty so I love the color I love the texture and the softness to them. I just think that I need to size up from an eight to a 10. So that is the end of today's video. Today's massive ASOS try on haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if there is anything that you guys like, I will as always link everything down in my description.
description box for you guys to check out. So yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, then please let me know by leaving it a huge thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So yes, thank you guys so much. If you have gotten to the end of today's video, I love you all so much. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.